Hey, this is Jeff at Marvel's Kids Museum with your daily dose of play. I'm here in Sea Shapes where we talk about sea creatures and math all the time. And today we're going to focus on sea creatures in our very own computer game. So I'm going to show you how to make a computer game using some drag and drop block based programming. So kind of like putting together Lego blocks except we're going to make a game that we can play. Today we're going to learn the basics but from there you can take it anywhere you want. Let's get started! This is the arcade.makecode.com website and it's a fantastic place to make video games and learn how to code in the process. We're going to click on new project. And this is our simulator over here where we can test our games as we make them. This is where we get all our little code blocks to drag around. And this is the coding area. This is where we're going to put things in and assemble them together. And this on start block, this little chompy mouth guy, this is where we'll put things that we want to run when the game starts up. So let's go to the sprites menu and choose set my sprite to sprite of kind player. And we click this gray box and this is where we can edit the image. We can draw our own image or we could choose one from the gallery. And these are a bunch of ready-made ones you can pick. Ooh, look at that, a shark. Sharks are cool. So it's putting this sprite with this image of a shark and the kindest player, and it's putting it into this variable my sprite. And the variable is just a name that we in the computer can agree to call something. So let's rename it shark. There we go. And now if we move the joystick, the shark doesn't move around. But that's just because we haven't told the computer we want to move the shark. So let's go into controller choose move my sprite with buttons. There's nothing called my sprite anymore. We renamed it to shark. So let's change that to shark. And now in the simulator, look at that. A shark swimming around in outer space, I guess. We need a background. I'm going to go to scene, set background image. We're going to put that at the top. So it, does, it, it loads that first. And we click the gray box. And again, we can draw a background here or we could choose something from the gallery. There we go, that should load up. And now we have a shark in the ocean. I think our shark's getting hungry though. Let's make it some food. We'll go into sprites again and choose another set my sprite to sprite of kind player. And we're gonna change the kind to food. And we'll make this a smaller fish than a shark. Like this guy. And we're gonna rename this to a fish just so everything's clear. All right, so now we've got a variable named fish holding a sprite with this image and it's the kind food. It does turn out that it, it, it puts it down right in the middle of the screen on top of the shark, which is not the best place if we're trying to make it hard to get. So let's, let's go into sprites and choose set my sprite position to. And we'll change this to fish because we want to change the fish's position. And it's asking for X and Y coordinates. And if we click in here, you can see that X is a number that gets bigger as we move from left to right and y is a number that gets bigger as we move from top to bottom and if we just click in the box here it'll put the numbers in for us and position the fish right there which is perfect for sneaking up on so if the shark comes in there well we haven't taught the computer how to make the shark eat the fish so let's go into sprites and choose on sprite of kind player overlaps other sprite of kind. We'll change this to food. There we go. So when a player runs into food, something happens. We have to decide what. Let's go into game and choose game over. And it comes out saying lose, but if we click it, it'll say win. So now when the sprite of kind player, which will be the shark, overlaps another sprite of kind food, which will be the fish, we win the game. Let's test it out. Swimming around, sneaking up on the fish, and boom! Haha, <laughs> we won the game! It wasn't a very difficult game, but still, it was a game that we made, and that was a lot of fun. So there's a ton of stuff here. You can build all kinds of things. Thanks for playing with us, guys! That was just a taste of how much fun it is to make video games. 
but you can take it anywhere you want from there. Feel free to make it as complicated or as simple as you want. Add your own sprites in there. Just have fun. And be sure to share a link with us at Marbles Kids Museum on social media. See you next time!